This video is called Edges on a Face Won't Sink In, and it's part of Chapter 16 for Google SketchUp for Dummies. This video deals with a common problem that people have where you're trying to draw some edges on a face, uh, let's say a window on the surface of each of these boxes or an opening, um, and uh, the edges won't sink in, so you end up with just dark edges instead of thin edges, let's say thick edges instead of thin edges, and you, you can't figure out why, and it's a big pain, and um, I have myself have lost a whole lot of sleep for this. So let's start with this one right here. What I'm going to do is just take this rectangle, and I'm just going to draw a rectangle over top of this thing. Okay, now what should have happened, what should have happened is when I draw the rectangle on top of here, you notice how the edges here are nice and thin, and I'm not getting any, you notice how there's this flashing, that's called z fighting right there. Um, so I get a nice clean rectangle when I draw on that surface, but when I drew a rectangle on this surface, let's just delete, oops, delete this thing up here. When I drew a rectangle on this surface, I get this weird flashing behavior, that's called z fighting, that tells me that there's two surfaces in the same, on the same plane. Um, and these edges didn't turn nice and thin like these edges for me, which means that they're not actually cutting into this surface. And that's incredibly frustrating because they should be, right? This is a face, and I drew, uh, I drew this on top of here, and so why isn't it actually cutting through? Well, one of the things you can try is just retracing it, right? So let's just take this line tool and retrace the edge there. Okay, that didn't work. So that's always the first thing you should try is retracing the edge. Okay, that didn't work at all. So the second thing you should try is go up to the View menu and choose Hidden Geometry right here. So View, Hidden Geometry. Now when you turn on Hidden Geometry, it's going to turn on any hidden edges in your model. And sometimes those will be edges that you hid intentionally, and sometimes they're just hidden edges that are created when you're kind of modeling in SketchUp. But regardless, um, when I look at this, I see that I have an edge that's cutting across here. Now, that edge was hidden, but what it means basically is that I'm not going to be able to draw... I can't just draw a rectangle that crosses that edge. I can't because it's this, this edge is actually there. So that's the problem. Uh, instead of this being one face that I can... this this, Oops, I'm sorry. Let's just select this. Instead of this whole thing, this rectangle being one face that I can draw another rectangle over top of, um, actually it's two faces. Uh, with, with this kind of hidden geometry line in between. And the secret here is that I, I took this corner and pulled it out a little bit so that that's not a true plane. It's only pulled out a very little bit, but it's enough to create this hidden line there. Um, and when that's the case, what you need to do is make sure that you have a single face that you can actually draw those edges on. So in this case, what I'll do is I'll take the Move tool and just kind of move this with um, the Shift key held down when I'm moving in the red direction. I should back up. I'm going to get moving in the red here. I'm going to get moving in the direction I want to go in. Hold down Shift, and then click on the thing that I want to get rid of. And now when I do that, I can take the eraser tool and erase this edge, just like that. And uh, once that edge is gone, now I can take the rectangle and go ahead and draw a rectangle on there, and everything is hunky-dory. There we go. See? Okay. Let's try doing the same thing over here. I've got this... Uh, box, just like the other box. I'm going to take a rectangle and put that rectangle on there. Okay, you'll notice the same thing sort of happened as happened over here. I had uh, these thick edges instead of the thin edges. Basically, when I take this and try and cut it out, nothing's happening, right? It, it didn't work. What I could do is, first step, try and retrace one of the edges. Okay, well, retracing the edges doesn't work because... Um, Obviously, that these edges aren't getting nice and thin to actually cut through this face. So what do I do now? Well, what I want to do is go to View and turn on Hidden Geometry. Here, I already had Hidden Geometry turned on because of this problem that we solved. So Hidden Geometry isn't the problem. Well, the third thing that's a possibility is that this thing that, that I'm trying to draw on might be a group or a component. So to see if that's the case, I'm just going to take the Select tool and select that thing. And lo and behold, it actually is a group. This thing is... Um, See, it says Edit Group. This thing is a group, which means when I draw on top of it, I'm not drawing in the group. I'm not affecting this face. I'm just drew, what I did here is I drew a rectangle on top of the on top of the group that I was doing before. So I have two choices. I can either take this group and explode it so that it's not a group anymore, and I can draw a rectangle just like I want to. Or you probably don't want to go around exploding things um, because it was probably a group for a reason. So in that case, what I'm going to do is double-click to edit the group 
And now that I'm editing the group, I can go ahead and draw a rectangle like that and everything works exactly the way it's supposed to. Okay, so those are two things you can try when edges on your face won't sink in and you won't be able to, um, when you can't kind of get openings drawn the way that you want them to. That's the end of this video for chapter 16 of Google SketchUp for Dummies.